Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. I am a member of the Yigit Beers 40k War Gamers Unification Group on Facebook. I'll pop a link in the description below. This is the place to get your fix of anything 40k related. Without further ado, let's get it. Oh, on with it. Uh, we've had teasers and leaks on the saga of a beast. There's been rumours of, of a box set coming with this release and it all seems those uh, leak, uh, rumours and that the leaks were, were spot on you know, sometimes you get people making fake stuff up but no it, it, it was spot on uh, we've had Makari uh, teases of Makari rules, we've seen go schools for rules, uh, we know there's a Primarish Regnar, uh, we've seen the uh, models and we know the what's in the Prophecy of Beast box set, and a bit later on I'll, we'll talk about the uh, value for, for if there's any value in that box set, it's going to that box set's going to be priced at a hundred and five pound pound. Not bad, but is there a value in that for a space wars player? Or is there a value in that for an orcs player? I mean, I'm I'm lucky. I I, I own both armies, so there's definite value in it for me. Uh, but what about a player who just plays orcs or or? or who just plays Space Wolves. Uh, then yesterday we got some more teases of uh, stuff in Psychic Awakening. We got uh, confirmation of uh, the Gazgul uh, stats and rules uh, subcultures. That's an interesting one. Looks like it's going to be a little bit like the uh, detachments from uh, Vigilant, where you can have your you know, you be a bad moons and have a dreadwire detachment, or you can have one of the other detachments. So you, it looks like you can you're going to have a, a blood axes. Or free booters or, or evil sons, and then choose a uh, subculture, and that subculture will give you extra bonuses. The one they uh, previewed was Blood Axes, and it looks pretty good for Burner Boys. Uh, Psychic Power was previewed, the uh, Psychic Arsonists, Burner Boys, uh, and Bits and Pieces, uh, the Jets, anything with Scorcher Missiles, you can re-roll that dice, quite useful, uh, might be really useful, and if it, you, especially with the Burner Boys, you've got a good spanner in that, you're going to be able to pretty much guarantee maximum number of shots for the unit. Uh, with that would be stratagem, uh, clever spanner added to that. That could be quite quite a nice little combo. Uh, clan specific psychic powers, the blood axis one, no overwatch, that might be useful if if you can think of uh, putting them in there, getting units in, got foot and cut off straight, other stratagems, flying headbutt, the one, one where it, it, your, your flyers that will automatically crash, crash and burn, that could be quite useful in certain circumstances. You. Uh, 
it makes quite an interesting uh tactic flying up maybe wait dropping your burner bombs if you've got a burner bomber and then explode exploding next turn there are possibilities there i think you have to look at it up quite quite closely and add on ways of pros and cons on that but uh, i mean i think you, there is a little bit of mileage in that and it'll be interesting to see if there are more uh, flyers in competitive lists I, I i'm not sure but we'll, we'll see uh and then the last one we came up on we'll have my 40 000, uh, facebook page was the one command point the big biggest boss one one command point it gives you war boss an extra attack an extra wound and the four plus save uh, involved save it, it looks pretty cool i mean uh, and this i mean what's the war boss in points you're looking at 65 points probably i mean on paper he's the second lowest points costed model in the index with the uh weird boy being 62 and then being 65 so for 65 and a command point you're getting a decent war boss i can see you plenty of legs in that strap and it might be worth taking it. You add the uh, follow me lads warlord trait to that, and you're you're starting to you, your wall boss aura goes out to nine inches, I believe. Right, double check. I mean, it, I mean, it, 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 yeah, you add three inches to the. Uh, Great to the wall, wire and the uh, breaking heads. So wire would go out to six inches. And breaking heads is three inches, so it would go out to six inches. That's uh, quite useful. And and you'll especially add that strat in as well. I think that I get see some mileage in that. It makes it for interesting little tweaks and playing around with. Oh, I have to get myself a war boss, or or, or make myself one to 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 see see if it see if I can get them into my list. Now, is there value in this box set? I'm not sure. I mean, for the orcs, I'm pretty sure there is because of the prices of Mega Knobs are uh, what 38, 40 pound. You got two characters, what well, uh, makes 80, and you're probably looking about 20 pound for the knobs. Uh, so, you, so they're probably about 100 pound on their own. But if you're a space force player. What are you getting? You're getting a sprue, of, which is in cursors or, or infiltrators they can be made as, and they're, they're only £17.50 and Ragnar's not going to be 80 odd quid on his own, 80, 90 quid, so there's very little value on this if you're just buying it for the uh, Space Force side. Of course, you could buy it and then sell the orc stuff off. Uh, that might make sense to, to a space force player around hot, splitting it a bit uh, and going harsh with an orc player to save save money. I mean, that, that might work a little bit better, but it's not. Particularly good value if if you're 
only interested in space falls, I, I believe. I mean, I'm lucky. I I collect space. I have a space force army. Uh, you'll see that up on on one of my earlier videos. I uh, you'll see my tournament orcs from last year, and I'm playing orcs in the tournament this year. Uh, I haven't had many games with orcs to to get used to them, so that's why I have my tournament list is going to my tournament army this year, just to get more experience and get used to playing one a bit better uh we know also that on the space force side ragnar's going to be a uh, primaris uh he's ragnar so he'll, he'll have rules and uh abilities within that and uh stat line to to go with a primaris uh, we're going to see doctrines for a space horse. Uh, but I, I imagine it's that they'll be in line with what the uh, doctrine, space marine doctrines are. I can't see them being any different. Uh, but that's all, all that's been teased for a space horse at, at the moment. Uh, pretty much a lot. Of, a lot of the uh, focus has been on Yorks. You, you, you've seen Macari, you've seen Gazgul, yeah, you've got the culture, subcultures and bits that we release tomorrow. Uh, probably see later in the week other bits to, to do with Space Wars. You probably get another day, possibly another lot of orcs as well, and then of course it goes up on pre-order at the weekend. And yeah, I mean, one hundred and thirty quid box it and saga of a beast. That's not a bad deal for me. I mean, I've got the two factions. I've still got to get the uh, Thousand Suns one, and I. So, but, yeah, I, I'm quite looking forward to it. What do you think? Are you an orc player specifically? Do you think it's only in that box set? Do you think that Saga of a Beast is only give you something, uh, give us something more than they've already teased and make things interesting again for us. Uh, Space Wolves players, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you can find value in that box set? And once the bits on the Space Wolves side, they, they show us a bit on that, maybe a, it'll look a little bit better. What do you Think, do you think we'll, Space Wars are going to get any little love in this, this release? Drop a comment, let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll, I always reply to every comment dropped and that's it really. Uh, we'll see you later in the week, later in the month to, when the once the pre-orders out and things start to to go about, I I've got a game with six plus Devo, uh, Orcs for on Orcs coming up next week, and we uh, there is a possibility you might see some of this stuff in there. We'll see. I mean, I. Uh, I've got to think about it. He's got, I imagine Steve will have to think about it, but it could could possibly be quite useful. I think a clever spanner, uh, I'm, I'm seriously considering adding that into the game for, for us. From Because I've got a loot, looters, I've got 15, dropping, a, dropping my looter and adding a spanner in. Well, I don't see why not. It might be, it might make my uh, 
Well, you're a game interested. So, come and watch that. And that will be up at, by, hopefully by the end of March, if not right dead into April. But I, I will, we're playing the next Tuesday. I'm videoing it. So, hopefully Wednesday, all day Wednesday, I can get it. Uh, edited and then I can get it uh, fed. I mean of course that might change if uh, with the coronavirus but I'm okay I'm not self-isolating and Steve's not self-isolating as far as I'm aware so as long as there's no self-isolating going on we'll, that game will take place but if it doesn't, we'll rearrange and get it on because we both want to do it. We, I, I've played Orcs in a tournament and it's fun. Uh, and to be honest, it's a... It can be it's pretty much... First, first turn can determine that matchup. Uh, because you're you're pretty much trying to get your pressure on quick, but we'll we'll see. I mean, I think we're playing the uh, mission that is the five. You got the five objective markers. It's from the chapter approved last year. And you uh, roll roll dice to see which is the active one, which will make some interesting for an interesting game. Uh, and we'll see what what comes of it. But hopefully we can maybe, as I said, uh, I'll definitely be using clever spanner in it. Uh, and we'll see if everything else is uh, chucked out to see see if I can use something else that comes up within that time frame. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, for you free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.